Uh, as the temperatures start to climb heading into spring, unwelcome pests start coming into our lives. We're talking about ticks that are already being seen in our area and our warm winter could impact the ticks in the season ahead. Eyewitness News reporter Thomas Battle has the story now from Wilkesbury. Frigid temperatures are often said to kill many insects and bugs that thrive throughout summer, but that isn't necessarily true for the blood sucking tick. So it's a uh, it's a myth that ticks go away during the winter time. They're actually out year round and uh, their behavior right now is called questing, which is they are looking for blood meals right now. Those meals become more available as people head outdoors. You know, more people will be going out in the springtime and just being exposed to ticks. So they're always out there. It's just a question of how many people are out there as well. But warm weather isn't the only factor in modifying tick behavior. Snowfall also plays a big part, and we've seen very little. The lack of snow will do two things. One, it decreases survivorship of the ticks, but it also makes them out questing for meals. Without snow to push ticks to feed on mice and deer, they have been more active around us instead. People being more exposed to ticks be offset by fewer of them, but then you also have that issue of having more hosts available for reproduction. Ticks are known to be prolific Lyme disease carriers, but warmer temperatures could mean more ticks and more disease. And there's a few other diseases that are working their way up north with climate change as well, as well as new tick species. So we have some invasive ticks that are uh, expanding into our area. If you're headed out to explore the outdoors this spring, be mindful of your surroundings. As I advise my students in the field, they should always tuck their pants in their socks. It may look goofy, but that's one of the best ways. And always, always check yourself after a hike. In Wilkesbury, Luzerne County, Thomas Battle 2822 Eyewitness News.